Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Granbury Park, and this is the home of the all-you-can-eat Kentucky Fried Chicken Buffet. I tried this buffet once before, I think about two, three years ago. Didn't really like it that much, but people have been telling me it's gotten better, there's more items, so let's go give it another try. All right, biggest difference between now and, and the time I came before is that there is absolutely zero weight. Last time I waited five hours to get in here. This time, came right in. This restaurant is pretty much empty, drink-wise. Lemon soda, Pepsi, Lipton, Wulong tea. There's coffee, there's tea, there's ice cream, croissants, salads. The main food aisle, starting off, they have domestic rice and curry. Come back for that. There's cheesy chicken fried rice. Oh, spicy pasta. Okay. Spicy pasta with eggplant. Cheesy potato. There definitely seem to be more stuff here on this buffet this time. Croissant. It's actually not too bad. KFC croissant, pretty flaky. So the chicken is separated between the white meat and dark meat. The white meat chicken, extremely juicy, very tender. The dark meat as well, it's got a good color. Super tender and juicy. Overall, the chicken quality is much better than what I had last time. I think last time a lot of the white pieces were pretty dry. This time, so juicy. Coleslaw, I absolutely love. A little mustardy, crunchy, and refreshing. That's definitely gonna help me eat more fried chicken. This is a uh, cheesy chicken pieces. That is actually very, very good. Super tender pieces of dark meat and some sort of curry sauce. This pasta and spicy tomato sauce. This really doesn't have much flavor. It is really spicy, very tomatoey. Other than that, not too much going on. The fried rice had um, bits of chicken in here. Fried rice is okay, not bad. But these little swiveling fried potato, this is so good. Mm. Those looks like swiveling potato wedges, fast in some syrup or honey. It's savory, it's sweet, it's seasoned perfectly. It's mushy on the inside. I think that, if you get it fresh on the outside, it's super crispy. That's well, gonna be absolutely amazing. So far, definitely enjoying the buffet way more than I did last time. All right, round two. Second round, got everything else on the buffet except for the dessert. A couple soups, one is a corn soup and one is a, some sort of onion soup with bits of pork belly inside. Mm. Not bad. Kind of tastes like a French onion soup. Pork belly is nice and tender. Also, I went and made myself a melon soda float. Melon soda is so good here in Japan. If you run into a situation where you have access to soft serve and melon soda, make sure you put those things together. That's so good. That's better than any root beer float any day of the week. They also have curry with domestic rice. Oh, this is very good. The rice is delicious. The curry is a little watery, but really flavorful and scrumptious. Another couple pieces of chicken. I think this is a chicken tender and a breadstick with honey. Yeah, chicken tender, a little dry. Outside is really nice and crunchy though. Break it up and mix it with my curry. 
chicken is still dry, but that nice crunch goes really well with the curry. Got some biscuit, drizzle some honey over it. That's super doughy and dry, not buttery at all. That's not a good biscuit. That is, might be the worst thing I've ever had. Finally, it's able to snag a drumstick. Mm. This is the most tender piece I had all that flavor. is all that nice herbs and spices goodness. Mm. No wonder people here always fight over this. Best piece of chicken by far. The chicken is just so much better this time than it was last time. Flavor-wise, the tenderness, the juiciness. Also on the salad section, there's seaweed. Hey, the mame. Like I was saying about the drumsticks, people fight over this here. Basically, every new tray of chicken that comes out, there's about, um, I counted, there's about four to five drumsticks. And if you're not the first or second in line, you're not getting them. Pretty much every time you go back to the buffet, there's a new tray of chicken coming out. I think after this, one more round, then go get some dessert. Dessert, I think there's a rainbow cake, blueberry shortcake, there's a panna cotta, and there's something, I, I don't know what it is. Panna cotta's delicious. That's an absolute stunner of a dessert. So creamy and milky. That's a 10 out of 10. Shortcake? Not a panna cotta, but not bad. Oh, coffee jelly. This is really good. I don't know why I thought this was a raindrop cake. I think it's a yuzu jello. Best thing, panna cotta by far than the coffee jelly. Overall, far better experience this time than it was a few years ago. I feel like the food is fresher. The chicken is juicier, it's tender, it's more flavorful. I mean, when I first came here, they just opened. So I feel like now a lot of dishes just taste better. Best thing here, hands down, of course, the chicken. Coleslaw is amazing. Curry is good. The diced chicken with cheese is amazing. Maybe a few more pieces of chicken and then go walk around. Came down here, saw food court, saw McDonald's. Realized I haven't tried McDonald's since coming to Japan. Let's see what's available. A samurai burger, the teriyaki mick burger. This is like a like a strawberry lava pie. Apparently this is a burger that used to be at McDonald's. So they start bringing all the favorites from around the world back. This Kurobi burger was first introduced, I think, I guess in 2002. It's back again. And this was one of the most popular burgers back in the days here in Japan. This is also in conjunction with FIFA World Cup. So the burger bun is like a soccer ball. I am just mesmerized by the sheer beauty of of McDonald buns in other countries. Like typically in the US, burger buns are, are probably the most train wrecky looking things. All cracked and wrinkled, look like they're 80 years old, but McDonald's, their buns are beautiful. Perfectly bouncy, there's no cracks, there's no creases. This thing looks like it just went for a round of McBotox. Inside, spicy sauce with, look at this, fatty beef. Patty itself is tiny, sitting on a bed of lettuce. The burger itself is not big, it's about the size of a McDonald's hamburger. Oh, this is so punch me in the face good. First of all, I just noticed when I flipped this round, that soccer imprint is on the bottom of the burger as well. This burger is what my dreams are made of. The thin beef patty, although very thin, super juicy, tender, flavorful. The fatty thin sliced beef on top is so well fatty and tender. And the sauce is a spicy sauce. Slightly sweet, spicy, smoky, very savory, and a umami punch. Mm, the bun literally tastes like they just got it out of a bakery. It tastes like fresh bread. This shouldn't be what a McDonald's burger tastes like. It tastes too good to be a McDonald's burger. No wonder they brought it back. This should be a permanent addition to the McDonald's menu. Like globally, I wish everybody around the world can taste this. Burger with teriyaki sauce. Sesame bun, not as pretty as the last one. It's a thinner patty, but fairly big. It's a pork burger, very, very sweet. It's okay, nothing really special about it. Pork burger, not as juicy as the beef burger. Patty flavor is good. I think the sauce is way too sweet for me. But if you love teriyaki sauce, you'll definitely like it. The samurai burger, I don't know what a samurai burger is. Let's try it. So this is a roasted soy burger. Put it their samurai mac line. I don't know if this is supposed to be a samurai burger bun because it looks like a samurai cut this bun in half, but a beautiful bun. Inside, two good sized patties, sliced onions, sauce on the top and on the bottom. This is a good sized hefty burger. 
Mmm. This burger is just so juicy. Look at the patty. Have you ever seen McDonald's patty ooze out juice like this before? I think I've seen it a few times. It's definitely a rare sighting. Also, it's incredibly cheesy. The sauce is sweet, it's smoky. The bun, just like the first bun I tried, is bouncy, it's airy. Little bits of sesame adds a nice flavor. The bun is good, the cheese is good, the patty is really good. Then get a little crunch from the onions. This is a really quality burger. One of the best beef patties I had in McDonald's burger probably ever. This is a strawberry pie. Oh, it's like a turnover. Oh, this thing is super flaky. Mmm. This is definitely the winner of the flakiest pie award in the history of fast food. Inside, I haven't even really got to the inside filling yet. Mm. Inside is filled with strawberry and cream. Tastes like a strawberry croissant. So many layers. Each layer is so thin and crispy and flaky. This might be one of the best things, if not the best dessert items McDonald's has ever created. Still in shock after a few bites of this. Mm. Only thing that could have made that better was if I got some soft serve as well and dunked it in there. Every time I eat at McDonald's in another country, especially if it's good, I feel like happy. Once I go back to the US, there's nothing that even comes close at our McDonald's. I mean, the quality of the beef, the bun, actually looks like a burger you see from the ads, a burger that somehow accidentally stepped into the octagon. So glad I remember to try this before I left. If you get a chance, you're in Japan, don't pass out McDonald's. And finally, a Pikachu donut to go. I love Mr. Donut. All their donuts are so bouncy and airy. Mm. Pikachu tastes awesome. And that's it for this edition of Fast Food in Japan. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.